Today we are reading Shin Zhe Lao Fu War Dance Guide, a guide for the war dance ceremony and the sky splitter. Forward, distinguished guests, welcome to the venue of this luminary war dance, the sky splitter, floating above the delves of the Shin Zhe Lao Fu. As everyone knows, the Luminary War Dance is the traditional martial arts celebration of the Shenzhou Alliance. It was originally established to honor the Cloud Knights who guarded the Shenzhou ships and cleansed the plagues under the orders of the Rainbow Arbiter. The Cloud Knights of Shenzhou worked diligently and competed in martial arts to honor those who had made sacrifices. Over time, the vision for the Luminary War Dance far exceeded a mere tournament and celebration. It eventually evolved into an opportunity for bonding. The war dance is an opportunity for us to bridge the distance across the universe and invite martial artists from different planets of the cosmos to share the stage, where they can display their fighting spirit and demonstrate the value of alliance. Today, you will witness the participants' might and enjoy the series around the Shin Zhou. Overview of the Tournament Venue the venue of this luminary war dance is the Sky Splitter. The Sky Splitter was once an active fighter jet in service during the Third Denizens of Abundance War. Out of the combat star skiffs of similar tonnage, the Sky Splitter has transported countless Cloud Knight heroes to the battlefield and provided low altitude support for ground forces during the Battle of the Feng Hu, the assault of the Sakan Chadu, the insect disaster of Karalik and many other notable campaigns. After receiving numerous accolades and amassing various scars throughout the years, the Sky Splitter was decommissioned peacefully. Subsequently, the craftsmen of the Artisanship Commission removed its combat armor, and it was now ready to welcome guests with a completely new look. In the months it took to modify and renovate it, the internal cabins of the Sky Splitter were completely redesigned to suit various needs including being used by contestants for preparation by the audience to watch the tournament, by the media for broadcasts, to welcome external guests for food and entertainment, and even host various commercial events. Tournament Area, where skill meets passion. The viewing zone and the final zone are located on the massive open air deck at the center of the Sky Splitter. What used to be the internal cabins and the lower deck have been remodeled and now serve as the preliminary zones. This allows the spectators to get up close and personal to experience the thrill of battle. In the preliminary zones, there is an internal ring road on the bottom level, a landing pad and multiple function rooms. The area is also equipped with medical rooms, training rooms, rest areas, and recreational areas to allow competitors the opportunity to properly train and rest in between their matches. Viewing and Leisure, Enjoying Every Moment the viewing zones located throughout the Sky Splitter provide an unobstructed view of the tournament. They are also equipped with comfortable seats and real-time data analysis on the screen to ensure that spectators can understand what's going on in the matches as they enjoy the visual spectacle. There are also VIP rooms and media zones available to suit the business needs of different individuals. The resting zone and dining zone on the Sky Splitter serve specialty delicacies from all over the cosmos. There is also low food cuisine provided by multiple dining establishments from areas such as Arm Alley and Exulting Sanctum, building an ideal place to relax and socialize after enjoying the matches. During the tournament, special events such as cultural exchange sessions and contestant meet and greets will also be organized on the Sky Splitter. For more details, please refer to the official announcements. Exploring the Ship – Echoes of History Experience the history of Lofu Skyfaring Commission as well as the life of the Sky Splitter, from its construction to its deployment, up until it was decommissioned and repurposed, through holographic images and physical exhibits by stepping into the history gallery located at the bow of the ship. Let us witness how new legends are forged in this vast sea of stars together. Even though the command center no longer serves the role of a military command center, the original control panels and strategic astral charts have still been retained. This allows visiting tourists to immerse themselves and take on the role of the captain of the ship and experience what it's like to take part in strategic planning. Opening Hours 
The tournament takes place between 0400 and 1600 system time each day. During this period, the viewing zone will be open to visitors. For special events and the evening light shows, please refer to the official announcements. Collecting tickets. Tickets can be reserved through the official platform or purchased at designated ticketing outlets. Ticket holders can enjoy fully guided tours and viewing rights in certain special zones. Please do not trust any unofficial ticketing platform and be careful not to fall for scams. Traffic Guide At various locations such as Exulting Sanctum, there are exclusive star skiffs that go straight to the connecting platform below the Sky Splitter. For those driving themselves, please register with the Sky Faring Commission and park in the designated area. Safety Notice To ensure the safety of everyone on board, please be sure to adhere to the signs and follow instructions from the staff when visiting. Refrain from touching any equipment without permission. Finally, we hope that you have an enjoyable Luminary War Dance and that you will experience the sincerity of the organizers. We wish you a pleasant journey ahead. Luminary War Dance Tournament Committee